Hey guys, what's up? Ultimate Dog here, and welcome back to another video. And today we are playing some more Survive the Night with Teal, myself, Jenna, Scully, and hopefully Sid when he decides to join. You're probably wondering why my voice sounds deeper. Well, Teal asked me if I could mimic my old voice from previous episodes. So for the past couple of hours, I've been practicing trying to get back to that old voice. So let me know in the comments below how it sounds. I hope it's at least as close to it as possible. I've watched pretty much rewatched a lot of videos and so, so uh, it's gonna be interesting experience. But also, if you guys do enjoy this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. That would be really appreciated. Also, if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button, it's free. You can always change your mind later. And while you're at it, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you stay up to date with any new videos that we're posting in the future. My voice, I don't know how it's going to be. Um, I don't know how close I am to getting it. Like I said, I've pretty much rewatched every single video uh, from the early days. So I don't know if it's completely accurate or not, but I've been trying my best to get it as close to it as possible. And for the gear today, as you can see, we are going to be using the cookie shield. And for our perk today, I believe it is called lightweight. So um, those are going to be the two things that we are going to be doing today. But uh, yeah, Tio was wondering if I could try and, you know, get my voice back to how it originally was which if you watched my early videos, my uh, voice was in kind of like a not really dark or like deep voice. It was more mid. And then I started, when I got uncomfortable to YouTube, I did a, like I changed my voice in a way to like a higher pitch voice. That's because I uh, was comfortable with everything, you know, how everything went. So um, I'm hoping it sounds, you know, as close to it as possible. Like I said, it is not going to be perfect because um, it's just how it is, right? You, you can't. It's not going to be perfect. I know that for a fact. Uh, there's no way I can really, real in reality, go back to my old voice how it was because you know the older you get, it changes a bunch of that stuff, right? So. Um, yeah, but also, I should let you know that uh, I did find a way to get my old skin back. So, it only work. it works in other modes or other games. It doesn't work in Survive the Night, though. So, that's the only downside, but anytime I play Doors and, uh, except for today, but anytime I play Doors and anything like that, I can actually put my old skin on. So um, you guys can get at least like the uh, remnants of my old skin in case any of you have either forgotten what it looked like or um, you know how it's uh, how it even you know just in style wise you can actually see it for the first time or just revisit it from watching your doors but so let's survive the night it of course won't be that way because um, for some reason the game doesn't allow it to be implemented into the game. But, so, that's really only the downside. Um, any Survive the Night games in the future, from now and on, will be this skin. But any type of other game, like Doors or any other type of game that you want me to play, I can actually wear my original skin. So, you guys can get that feeling, if you are new or not, to um, see, that, uh, see that skin out. So, uh, I was happy, at least, that I could, you know... At least try it and figure it out to do it that way instead of just completely forgetting about it I'm able to put it and implement it into other games it just for some reason survive the night is a game that doesn't allow it no more which I don't know why that is the case but um, yeah and uh, I currently am cannot see so I have no idea where I'm going but I am using the cookie shield, like I said, so uh, I'm hoping this shield will protect me as well as the Merc shield, which is, you know, very, very good. But, uh, yeah, if you want me to keep using my old voice, I'll keep practicing on it to make it as accurate as possible. Like I said, this is the first time I'm actually talking to you guys using my, new, like, the old version of the voice. 
that I used in my like original episodes. So it's not gonna be, it's not perfect. I know that for a fact. I hope it's not deeper than what I already had it to be because kind of my old voice was kind of like a uh, mixture of deep and not deep. So I hope I could at least get it as similar to it as best as I can. But uh, like I said, it's not guaranteed, right? I have to keep practicing and practicing. But if you do want to see me use my uh, old voice a little bit more, or you find you like it better than my new voice, which is the one I've been using previously for like the past little while, then you, call it, you could just let me know in the comments below and I'll keep working and practicing on it so it can be a lot better. But right now we are surprisingly doing relatively well. Um, I feel like, is he right behind me? He might be right behind me. Or he's either right behind me or chasing oh. Teal. Um, I have no idea. Oh, oh, there's one of them. Oh, please. Take my shield. Was that good? Was that cookie good, my friend? But, uh, yeah, if you do want to see me use my old voice, then you could just let me know. But I'm, I'm very excited that my skin works in other games like Doors. So if you do, like I said before, if you do want to get that old reminisce of that skin, you could just, I could just put it on in that type of game, but it won't work in Survive the Night for some reason. So it's kind of a downside to me because I, re I really do kind of like my old skin a lot. Uh, it was the skin that I basically first used. It was the very first skin I've ever made, right? From this channel. So, um, um, it's sad to see it go, but at least I know it's not lost because I can use it in any game I wanted to use it for. It's just for this game in particular, I don't know why it's not allowing it to work. Because every time I did every time I did try and put it on in this game, it would only show basically the Roblox logo and you know I'll be wearing all blue for some reason. So it's kind of sad to watch it go. I hope I did try also blocking, like you know how mine right now, my, my character is 3D. I did try doing a blocked version of it, like where like you're all blocky, like this person here. And it still didn't work um, for some reason, so... But at least I know that it's not lost forever because I could just, you know... I could put it on indoors or any other game that you want me to play and I can always just change it back for every time I do a Survive the Night video. So that's something that's really happy, but uh, yeah, about the voice, it was uh, Tio's idea actually, because he, he kind of misses my old voice, it's understandable, right? I kind of had that mellow tone to it, which a lot of people seem to actually like. So I am gonna try my best to fix it, well not really fix it, but like have two sides. I can have my new voice and my old voice try and like work it out a bit that is that is gonna mean though I am gonna have to work on my vocals a ton to try and go back to that mellow voice because the older you get the more your voice changes and then the harder it is for you to actually you know do different type of voice changes so um, that's why after today after this video was live um, or after I'm even done recording to be honest with you I'm still going to be practicing the voice, so in case someone asks me to do it again, I could just, you know, say okay, and I pretty much will have it down packed. But I hope you like my first time uh, trying it out. Like I said, it's not going to be perfect because um, I'm still, like, you know, getting everything else set and all that stuff with it. I'm still trying to make sure it sounds at least, if not as close to it as possible, which it probably doesn't right now because, you know, I, I, I basically only had like two hours to try my best to mimic it, but I can always figure it out and work on it later in the future and uh, try and get it as down packed and as close as possible that I can, so. But I can see why though a lot of people did like my old voice. They like the mellow. It's suited well with the type of jokes I would sometimes make, which is understandable. Sometimes you don't want a high pitch voice all the time because then it kind of gets, it can get kind of annoying, which is understandable. I find whenever I watch a lot of YouTubers in my time that they did have a high pitch voice, it kind of blared at my eardrums, which is understandable. 
I get now that people would say, oh, well, the simplest solution is just to turn down your volume, right? Well, um, yeah, but sometimes you can't really hear what they're saying in a way. Even though they have that high-pitched voice, you still won't be able to hear what they say. So, um, that's understandable. I'll try my best to work on it, but until then, we are doing uh, very, very well. And also, a thing about my perk, it uh, makes me run faster and has a 40% chance to actually not be detected. So, um, that was actually very helpful. That is a dead end. I don't know why I went that way. But, uh, yeah, we already got our first win. So, I now I don't know with my, I don't know if this is probably a really bad blank statement, but I did find or did tend to find that when I did use my, like back in the old days, like three months ago or so, I did do a lot better. I don't know if it was just me focusing on the gamer a lot like that, but I did find I did do a ton a lot better than I did do nowadays. And I don't know if that was just because I was more mellow and calm and um, I wasn't really worried about much or maybe my, per I don't know, maybe my mindset changed, but I am finding nowadays when I, or t at least today, I'm experiencing something different where um, I am kind of in that calm state, you know, like not really focused and worried and I'm just playing the game because I enjoy it. So I don't know, it's probably helping me a lot more, but um, I, I'm, I'm doing, I'm basically doing a lot better than I ever did, surprisingly. So um, I, I'm actually very happy about that because, uh, you know, the past few days I've been losing a lot of games. So kind of having this mellow tone and all that stuff. How are you still alive? That was awkward. You're just standing in the middle open. How does he not see you? But uh, anyways, now having this like kind of relaxing state and mellow and not worrying about like, because back then I was, um, yeah, I was more, I was worried about bonus tasks because I was actually focused, uh, focused more on winning my games, which actually did help me out in the future of the channel. Um, so um, I guess now that I'm, you know, trying my best to go back to that in a way, because to be honest, with you, I kind of do also miss my old voice in a way, like the way I used to do. The reason why it was like that in the first place was because I was nervous. When recording videos, I didn't know how you guys would take it in, so that uh, majority the kind of reason why. But uh, at least now I know that you know, the more you uh, the progression you have throughout life, you know, the more you start to realize that things start to change. So I'm speaking a bunch of gibberish. I don't know why, but uh, do you think you will let me live? Please. No. He didn't let me live. I tell you that. He did not let me live. But is that don't please don't tell me. Please please don't tell me that guy is standing still. Still okay. No, he's still moving. Okay. But um, he basically just won just by standing still, which is completely stupid. But uh, uh, what can you do, right? But about what I was saying, I kind of did miss my you know old mellow voice. I don't know. I should have probably just kept it. I don't know why I changed. To make it a high pitch it's probably because i wasn't really thinking and i just got comfortable with it and i thought you know what since my skin changed and all that my clothes and all that i thought i should change it as well but now i re now i'm realizing that there's no point of changing something of who you are right you know it's just the skin it's just clothes no point of changing your whole personality about it so who knows you can also let me know in the comments below what you prefer if you like my new voice or if you like my old voice and uh, if you guys do want my old voice back, then I promise you I will keep working on it to make it as close to, it, if not, my old voice as possible. So, but uh, anyways, uh, Cookie Shield is doing really, really well, I must say. Um, I'm surprised Sid has not joined this yet, but I guess he's been busy for the past few days, which is completely understandable. And uh, for tomorrow's gear and perk, or maybe I'll do a slasher skin, either way. I am going to be putting it on randomized, so don't worry about struggling to find a gear or perk that you guys want me to try out. I'm going to be putting it on randomized, so a bunch of stuff can start rolling in, and we can just have fun and enjoy ourselves from there. But I will say this: uh, for uh, when I was I, when I recorded doors earlier, 
the new update came out for it, so um, you're going to be seeing uh, my new, my basically new voice, not this voice that you're hearing right now. You are going to be hearing that voice that I've been using for the past month or so now, and uh, it's I really am surprised uh, what I found in that uh, new update. So I think you guys are going to get a lot and enjoy it either way. But uh, I'm just letting you know that uh, it's a lot longer than a typical video for a Doors video, that is, because um, I kind of did a mixture of both in it, so uh, yeah, but we are heading on to church as our third map, and of course, here comes the notifications again, which um, I really need to turn, the, I really need to turn it off, I really do, but the only, now I'm going to say this, the only downside here, I know this video is a lot about the voice and not the gear itself, I'm sorry, just want to get it out of the way, right, so... But the only downside of me actually using this voice is my voice is going to hurt afterwards. So, um, just be in mind, I, I, I won't be able to use it all the time because it actually does, I'm changing my voice and talking for like 20 to 30 minutes straight. So, it is going to hurt my voice at the end of every video that I do use it. And if I keep using it over and over again, then there will be some days where I just won't be able to talk in a video, which is not what I want. So... Uh, it, uh, try not to like, you know, if you do want my old voice to, in a video, try not to say it every single day because one, I'm probably not going to do it just because I don't want to hurt my voice in the long run and uh, it wouldn't make much sense in a way for me. But uh, anyways, now that I'm done talking about that, let's focus on the game here and uh, let's focus on this cookie shield and perk. Uh, cookie shield is doing really well. Like I said, it's just like the merch shield. The only thing that doesn't, I'm not happy about this, is that it doesn't give you the extra health. Um, so, uh, but other than that, overall, it is a um, really good one to have. Can you stop chasing me, please, head? And this is definitely Teal. I know that for a fact. Is he down here? Uh, which way am I going to go? And also, I've been trying my best to not go for bonus tasks and all that stuff because I find they do distract me, like I said. So... Why are you chasing after me? I am probably dead. Oh. Yep, I'm dead. Well, just I was saying that I did a lot better. Uh, I screwed up already, so. But that is our third game already done. And while I'm here, I might as well just show you guys it. So for this uh, cookie shield, you go all the way down to the uh, scrap shields, and it's right there. We got a whole bunch of different shields that I could try out. And for the perk, um, if you go to advanced and you go all the way down, it's called light footed, which gives you increased speed and also 40% chance to avoid the slasher's detection. So uh, I think that is relatively good in a way. So uh, it's going to be, hopefully, it's going to be helping me out in the long run for what I've been doing right now. And while we're here, we might as well buy some points just for, in case I want to do a bit of spending, you know, later on. Because uh, Tio, uh, as you can see, is currently level 713, and I'm almost 450, so I am going to be playing a lot. Um, so um, you, there is a chance that you might see me in game. And uh, I'll be on PC, and I'll, I'll basically switch between the two, PC and Xbox. So if you are a PC, then don't, if you want to, you can say hi to me and we can chat a bit. So, uh, yeah, but final game we are going to be playing. Uh, we are doing uh, not bad, but not the best that I wanted to do. We are currently f only have one win and two losses. So um, I'm hoping this final game 
can bring that to life and we can get a um, one last victory before we end today's video off. But I will say though, we have been doing really, really good lately. For today, that is. We've lasted past 5 a.m. pretty much for the past three games. I don't know what Tio is doing, but uh, <laughs> he's been, uh, he's, he's doing something. I'll tell you that, he's doing something. But, uh, <laughs> oh boy. But uh, it's also been currently two weeks since this update has came out. So maybe there's gonna be a new update that's gonna be coming out. I'm very curious to see if that is gonna be something. I'm, I'm looking forward to it for 100%. I'm sure we are all looking forward to this new update that hopefully will be coming out soon. But until then, we have what we have right now. So the season of the Yeti quests are not yet finished, but they are, you know, almost there to the very end of the time. And we won't be getting them any longer soon. So it could be, um, it's gonna be something different. But final map, we are heading to the Hunt Outpost, which is the second one, which is not the original one. So um, hello there, player two. How are you doing today? I think he's just kind of just joined in, but uh, he can, he's probably getting a screenshot. All we know is that he's jumped, we're all just jumping up and down. <laughs> oh, what a fun day this is gonna be. But uh, yeah, final map, let's see how we do here. So um, we are on to the second part of the Hunt Outpost. So this could either go really, really good for us or really, really bad for us either way. So. But uh, let's go hope that we get a win here for the final game and hope we don't screw around and lose because then that would be really, really bad. And as you know, yesterday we uh, got three wins yesterday, which is very, very surprising. We got three wins out of the four games that we played. So um, I'm, I really do hope that that will stay with us for, if not today, for a little bit longer for the next few days because that was really nice. I was so happy that I actually did good that day. But uh, you never know nowadays, right? Things can completely change over. And is he coming to you? Is he around here? I really don't want to die right off the rip. I was just talking about how good we've been doing. And I really, really don't want to die off right away, so. But usually, usually nowadays, the hunt mode is not really that bad. But, uh... It's, um, you know, it really depends on how you play and if you're lucky and actually hit your shots. Because as you know with me in hunt mode, I can't hit my shots or anything. No matter how many times I shoot the gun, I always miss my shot in the end. So uh, that's why you should never trust me when it comes to getting or collecting up a win. Just based off of my past experiences, that's my, uh, you know, how it's been. I can't really hit anything, and um, it's probably not the best solution. I'm, or I'm, I'm sorry, probably not the best solution to rely on when you're trying to get rewards, because you know, with my past history, if you have watched this channel, you can see just exactly why, and uh, you would know. Oh, maybe Nick is not probably the best person, and I would, I'll probably agree with you and say you are right. I am indeed, in fact, not the right person for the job. Uh, to clutch up a win, so uh, just giving that out there. But I am, like I said, in the room and I need for improvement. We all are nowadays, right? You know, if you want to be good at something, you have to keep playing and practicing, which is something I'm going to be doing hopefully a lot more often, or, or not hopefully, I will be doing a lot more with, uh, recently. So um, it is hopefully going to be good in the end, but. Uh, until then, okay, you are right there. Uh, but I will say though, we are doing not bad right now. I need to find the way out though, because I want to get outside. I don't want to stay here that much longer. Just based off how we barely escaped him right there. So the outside is probably going to be the best situation for me. But, um... Yeah, we are, surprisingly, we only have about one more minute left, and then we have our chance to defeat him. So that is probably going to be the best situation here, and give us and clutch us the win, which I will be very excited for, because then we can tie for, even though 
you know, I don't show anything right now of excitement. I just sound like I'm sad and uh, depressed. But uh, that's how I sounded before because uh, that's how nervous I was. If you, get, if you guys can't get a kick out of my old videos, then you know why. It's because my voice was like that. And it just blended in with everything, basically. It just blended in with everything. It made me sound depressed and all that, but you guys seem to like it anyways. Just because of how it, you know, flowed through. So I can see why. And like I said, though, I will try my best to get it perfectly this time. But uh, like I said, for now, though, when you guys are hearing this, this is not going to be 100% guaranteed. There's still a lot of work that I have to do to make it as best and close as possible. A lot of re-watching uh, re <laughs> re videos and all that stuff to get it right. But uh, like I said, I promise you I'll work on it as best as I can to get it all done. And let's go, let's go get on. Why am I missing all my thoughts? Come on. There we go, we got them. Me and Tio have our shields. Look at us go. The cookie shield and the other shield. And now we got this guy. We just joined in at the very end. But I will say though that was very good because now we have two and two to finish off for two days video, which is very, very exciting. And I can see, I don't know if that was from me, but I don't know if that, I saw my little bunny pouch on my uh, waist. Now I don't know if that was from me or the guy next to me here who had it on, but uh, oh no, that was me. That was definitely me. What in the world was that? But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, thank you for sticking around to the very end. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you all tomorrow for the next video. Bye.